is Thomas Paine's birthday week. He was born on January 29th, 1737. And to celebrate, I thought I'd eat some mashed potatoes because rumor has it, mashed potatoes were his favorite. These are actually made from cauliflower. Thomas Paine was from England. Benjamin Franklin is actually the one who sponsored Thomas Paine's emigration to America in 1774. So here's the super appetizing part. At Thomas Paine's funeral, there were only about six people there. Years after Thomas Paine was buried, there was this guy named William Cobbett. He dug up Thomas Paine's body, he brought it to England, and he was hoping to have a proper memorial service there. This memorial never happened. Mr. Cobbett ended up dying. And so Thomas Paine's remains are pretty much scattered all over the place. Nobody really knows where they all are. And no birthday celebration for Thomas Paine is complete without reading something he wrote. I decided to read Common Sense, which is a pamphlet that was originally published on January 10th, 1776. Originally, Common Sense was anonymously published and it was actually signed written by an Englishman. Just to put things in perspective, the American Revolution started on April 19th, 1775. This pamphlet played a huge role in firing up the American citizens to seek independence from Great Britain. Common Sense was basically Thomas Paine's message to America about why they should seek independence from Great Britain. First, Thomas Paine explained how a government naturally forms in society. He said that monarchy sucks, and so does hereditary succession. He included a lot of Bible passages to show that kings are bad. In fact, the Jews wanted a king, although this was seen as sinful. Thomas Paine was like, listen, America, Britain really doesn't care about you. You don't need them. They screw you up. It just ain't working anymore. Independence is the only answer. You can form your own government, and here's how. Now is the perfect time, America, to seek your own independence. Don't wait. This pamphlet was written in Old English. I would recommend that you try your best to struggle through this original version because it's the most authentic. And then after you read the Old English version, you can read a modern English version or spark notes like I did. This pamphlet did take me a few hours to read, plus I had to take an hour nap. I learned a lot of new vocab words while I was reading through. I had to look up words in my dictionary, but that's how you grow. This is a good thing. This pamphlet included a lot of great quotes. When Thomas Paine said law is king, it made me think about the law by Bastiat. And Thomas Paine also said debts, we have none. It's crazy to imagine that at one time in America, we had no debt. And now look at us, we're $23 trillion in debt. It was really cool for me to read this little bit of history that impacted the American Revolution so much. It is concise, a bit challenging, but definitely worth the read. This pamphlet really helped to give me a glimpse into the mindset of the citizens when they were fighting for independence. It gives more meaning to the American Revolution and the Declaration of Independence. I hope you enjoyed my common sense review today. Please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, be free.